Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel or welcome back to my YouTube channel at Ken Designs and Vlogs. In the previous video, this is what we did. We did the beam together with the wall and the foundation wall. Today we are going to do the floor slab. So what you're going to do first is going we're going to take a slab, an existing slab, and you're going to edit that slab. So go to options element attributes and we're going to go under composites under composites what you want to do we want to take um concrete floor insulated with 10 mm tiles and you're going to strip it of the bare minimum we need a thickness of about 200 so the tile on the flooring 10 mm not bad we can change that to 5 mm the concrete on there you can change it to 15 mm uh the insulation we can remove the skin and for the slab thickness let's say it was 150 we are down at 180 so we can obviously change this uh can change this to 35 so that we have a slab thickness of 200 and hit on okay you can see here slab thickness 200 you can come change it from here and uh, it is this one so you can just take this draw it from here to here and then now let's check the section open with current view settings as you can see the slab has come here if you look closely what is happening this is the floor slab so one thing we are going to eliminate we're going to eliminate this so that we can use it for up here as you can see we can see one the RCC, let me change the section settings. Window background, uniform and cut pens, uniform cut pens. You can change this to a darker color. Yeah, that should switch up things a little. Okay, uh, you can see the tile over here. You can see the concrete, that's the screening. And you can see the slab over here the slab itself so we can just take this right click edit selected composite stroke profile what we're going to do we are going to hit on new and you're going to duplicate this and you're going to rename it and you're going to say concrete floor let's say rcc floor insulated with 10 mm tile okay and you're going to remove the plaster stroke gypsum because it is in the ground so what you're going to do is change this to this. Now we have this good and you can also still edit and see exactly. We need we need the RCC, the RCC is there, the concrete is there, so everything is good. So yeah, that's how we draw a slab. I'm going to check it out in the 3D. We have this. Technically, after the foundation, what happens is the slab and then after the slab, the wall is built. So when you're going to do your section your sections look beautiful because you can see the wall is on top of the slab and that tile is inside the wall as it should be thank you guys if you like this video please give a thumbs up don't forget to share and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you so much